Hello and welcome to Tech Report on Sky News Business. I'm Bridie Barry. There's a fundamental change afoot in the online business model. A survey conducted by the Economist Intelligence Unit has found that 80% of businesses are currently seeing changes in how customers access their web-based services. Over half are integrating new models that use subscriptions or rentals rather than selling their products outright. To get across this driving force behind this transition towards a subscription economy, we're joined now by Greg Cullen, Vice President of Sales for Australia New Zealand region at Zora. Um, Greg, thanks so much for coming in. Just thanks, firstly, Friday. tell us a bit more about the findings of this survey, uh, the Economist Intelligence Unit survey that was sponsored by, by Zora. Yeah, look, I think this is a massive sea change. We're seeing organisations really changing the way they buy things. And this is a major shift in commerce. So what we're seeing is consumers are really driving a huge adoption, a huge change in the way they consume things today and how they buy. What they're really looking for is really throwing out concepts of ownership and really moving into more like subscription-based services, which is really great and really gives them access to uh, services but basically on a consumption model rather than any other model. And what it means for businesses is that businesses must move very quickly to transition to this huge market opportunity. Yeah. Just firstly, I mean, what's driving this shift in consumers, do you think? Yeah, I think it's an interesting point. What we're seeing is the improvements in technology really mean that consumers are actually being served very personalised goods and services in such a quick speed, which basically means that you know, consumers are so much more willing to buy into subscriptions. And we're also seeing organisations really move into a model where, particularly businesses, where they can, uh, they're able to um, see revenue from this reoccurring model. So, you know, whereas in the past there's been these one-off transactions, they're starting to see transactions that have annuities, which means there should be a win-win for consumer and business. Mm, okay. Um, just in terms then of the Australian market, I mean, was there any difference? Obviously, you looked at the yeah. US, UK and, yeah. and Australia. Was there any difference perhaps in the finance? Yeah, there really was. I think what you'll see is that, you know, I really like it because it really has Australians out front in leadership position, and we know Australians particularly. Uh, you know, the Australian market is a very sophisticated market. Australians are very early adopters. And in this case, 67% of Australian executives really see a strong move to uh, the subscription economy. And in fact, what they've been able to do is build products and services to address this, address this market. Mm -hmm. And this is way ahead of their, you know, the UK and the US at around 44%. But what's more interesting is that 93% of Australian executives also think that there's reoccurring models and incremental opportunities in this new subscription consumption model. Mm. Um, just in terms of which sectors as well you think, because obviously the, I guess the headlines for me yeah, or my sure. personal experience would be say, you know, through media, through newspaper subscriptions or yeah. uh, through music. Yes. What, what other sectors do you think that, that we're going to see this? Point? Yeah, I think you sort of hit on all the key ones there. You know, it really is broad. You know, analysts really think this market be as, could be as large as $500 billion. And that's that's all the way across, you know, healthcare sectors, automotive. Um, you know, there's masses of segments where this could really resonate, and we're all already starting to see that in Australian customers. I think if you look at the f uh, models like media, organisations like Fairfax that have been through levels of digital disruption have really leveraged Zura product sets to really understand what their customers require, and really build product and services and bundles that really address new market opportunities and really allow them to increase their yields and really inc increase the number of subscribers they have today. Mm. Tell us about some of those other sectors, I mean examples of where you see like, like automotive. Yeah, look, I think automotive is quite an interesting one. You know, imagine signing up to a car on an annual basis and being able to scale up and down that car based on, you know, what you may do on the weekends. You might drive an X5 during the week, and on the weekends you may decide to drive a Q9 to ferry the kids to sport, etc. So it's a, you know, I think it really brings flexibility and consumption really to the fore, and really ownership, as I said, is really moving out the window. Yeah. Now, Zora obviously is a subscription business. So what what do you do? Yeah. So companies. Yeah, it's a good question. So what we really do is Zora really helps organisations enter the subscription economy, it really helps organisations flourish once they get there. And with old technologies of the past that were really built on you know, ERP style technology sets, um, they are very much built on the concept of products and services, shipping a one-off product and service in a one-time model. Uh, we really bid our te technology set on the basis that, uh, that people will subscribe to those services. And what we really do is take the hassle away from the, the complexity of subscriptions. And in a nutshell, we handle that whole platform of the underlying business operations. So all the, all the way from taking a quote, all the way to uh, you know, cashing the money in effectively. Mm -hmm. And that really en that enables organisations to focus very much on the things that are important, like pricing and packaging and marketing, marketing and really cashing in on that recurring revenue and recurring relationship. Mm -hmm. 
I guess just looking at some of the challenges to this perhaps then, I mean a big question hanging over certainly the media organisations is whether they can actually monetize the, the digital content effectively. I mean do you think they can? Look I think they can and there's some great examples as I've recalled with Fairfax but even in your own studio of, uh, of uh, companies the Sun newspaper has been able to really drive subscriptions so much higher by creative bundling. The Sun newspaper bundles, bundles EPL goals as well as you know their newspapers now and digital content and it's really the, the amount of subscribers is like 10 times what they would thought they would be at the same time. Is it technically too complex for, for some companies though when, it, when they look at trying to set up something like this? No, I don't think so. I think that's where we step in. We really handle that underlying business, you know, the business operations and those fundamentals. And really when you look at the subscription economy, it's really forward looking rather than old fashioned technologies which are you know, really looking in the rear, rear view mirror. What we're really trying to do is really help people look at things like customer churn, reoccurring monthly revenue, reoccurring annual revenue, and things like that, which really help you make very good decisions and help companies make those good decisions as well. All right, Greg, it's been great to hear about it. Thank you so much for joining us Thanks, today. Thanks, Friday. Thanks for having me. Greg Cullen there from Zora.